to the good, the bad, and the tarot. This is going to be your September love forecast. I am apologizing for it coming out later than I had hoped. Um, took a day off uh, last week, I think it was Wednesday, just to get my energy back. Um, sometimes when I have, um, when I'm doing a lot of readings, uh, I do need a day to just clear my energy. Uh, so that is the reason. There's no other reason besides that. I just, um, I just take my readings really seriously and we've had a lot of heavy energy with the eclipses. So, you know, I pick up on that energy too, of course, because I'm reading for so many of you. But, um, I want to say thank you for your patience and it's not too late. So let's get it. Let's get started. I'm excited to do your reading today, Cancer. And this is a general love forecast for the month of September for all my Cancer suns, moons, and risings, and those on the cusp. I'm asking my spirit guides for guidance. What will be so for Cancer for the month of September with regards to their love lives? This is for my Cancer suns, moons, and risings, and those on the cusp. What are the messages and energy spirit that you have for Cancer for the month of September? with regards to their love lives. Oops, that didn't want to show. This is a general love forecast, so it will not resonate with everyone. For the most accurate reading, with the most accurate outcome, I always recommend coming and getting a private reading with either myself or your favorite tarot reader. That's my general disclaimer. <laughs> But um, if you don't resonate with this reading, you can also check your moon or rising signs. Um, those may be of importance to you. Um, okay, I'm just waiting for the gray light here. Spirit, please show me the love messages and energies that you have for the sign of cancer. This is the 10 card Celtic cross spread that I'm going to be doing for you today and I do this for all my love forecasts. I think that this spread lends itself really well to love readings. Let's see, do I have my 10 cards down? Yes I do. Alright, let's turn over your cards. Beautiful. You have the Two of Cups crossed by the Page of Pentacles. What comes below you is the Nine of Cups. What comes above you is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. In the recent past, you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. In the near future, you have the Devil reversed. In the position of how you see yourself, you have the Six of Rods. In your environment, this is also how your significant other, or the one you think about the most, may be viewing you or dealing with you. And also, this represents an external influence. You have the Page of Swords in your environment. For your hopes and fears, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Your outcome for the month of September is the Knight of Swords in reverse. All right. Some of you may be dealing with an air sign or in a relationship with an air sign. The air signs are um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, let's start. You walk into September with the energy of the Two of Cups. This is your significator. And I see a beautiful partnership here. I see love. I see sharing. I see harmony. And this could be with a potential soulmate or someone that you consider to be very close to. So, uh, beautiful energy here. This is highly romantic as well. Some of you may be just adoring your loved one, uh, giving them that good leaven. What crosses you for the month of September is the Page of Pentacles. Pages sometimes represent uh, our more youthful sides. They can represent a child, but don't have to. Also, we have the pentacles suit here, so we're talking about earth energy, which represents the material world and all earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, 
crossing you. This could be something that helps or hinders you. Oh, sorry, there's a truck going by. I do have my window open today, so pardon any of the, the noises that you may hear in the background. Um, I'm getting speculation here. It could be that your challenge this month has to do with money, uh, beginning a new career. Uh, in, the, in the love area, this may represent um, some kind of slow new beginning. So in a relationship, uh, I see someone very focused on either their body, their looks. Um, it could represent a lot of different things, messages. But overall, I see some kind of new beginning in a relationship. And that new beginning has a lot of potential. And it's connected to the earth. So it could be that you are starting September off on kind of like a new page, a new a new blank slate. Um, beautiful foundation card. You have the Nine of Cups, which represents food, wine, and friends, good times, merriment, just enjoying yourselves. Sort of a hedonistic card as well, you know, sort of seeing uh, bacchanalian pleasures here. So drinking, enjoying, enjoying life. Uh, this is very good satisfaction. This is highly satisfactory. So it looks like that is, is good. Now in the recent past, this would be one to two weeks going back in the past, you have the seven of pentacles reversed. So I feel like some of you were not so happy with where things were and were kind of looking to see if it's sort of like you, you weren't happy with the progress that you made or feeling like maybe you weren't getting your side of the bargain. Um, this could have required a break or some distance or just a pause for reflection. Either way, it seems like things have turned around for you. And again, we move from the seven reversed to the page crossing you. So there is this... I still weighing a pros and cons going on in a relationship, but I think that you are focused more on um, what this relationship can do for you as opposed to what it hasn't done for you in the past, if that makes sense. And again, some of you are dealing with the earth sign um, or child who is a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, so you could be thinking about them. Now, what comes above you, this is in your conscious level, what you know to be true. You have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. It could be that um, some of you are taking time off work or thinking about uh, your career. I am getting money coming up for you in the present. Um, the thought that I have around this is about commitment. It's almost like some of you are not in a commit committal type of frame of mind or thinking that um, something about not putting in the work, not putting in the effort. You may be not feeling like putting in a lot of effort or putting in the necessary work to commit yourself to something or you may just not have a lot of focus. There's, there's a lack of focus in some area of your life. Now the Eight of Pentacles, we're talking about Earth energy as well. So... I'm just trying to think what this could represent because it's all around you. We have it in the past, the present, and in your sort of your mindset. Some of you could be thinking about taking some time off work or uh, just be so much in this dreamy, dreamy frame of mind that uh, there may not be a lot of progress made in the other side of the spectrum in terms of money. Um, in the near future, you have the devil in reverse. So I'm seeing a breaking of a, a bad habit here or a commitment. It could be that you're leaving some toxic behaviors in the past or a toxic relationship in the past. Um, anyway, this card is great when it's reversed because it's a denouncing of the energy, the negative energy that the devil holds over us. 
which sort of, um, you know, can make us compulsive, uh, have, make us have compulsive behaviors. Like we may become obsessed with someone or obsessed with some way of doing things. And this is a relaxing of that energy. But again, for relationships, it can be a little difficult. So in the middle of September, the, the kind of thing that I'm seeing here is you, I'm not saying you're going to break up with, with your partner. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm seeing that there may be some relationship that you cut ties with. Um, and it's because, you know, it's, they're doing something that you consider to be a bad habit, that you consider to be toxic or negative energy. Um, and likewise, on your part, you, you may, you may quit, quit something. Uh, you may say enough is enough. I can't be around this person anymore, or I can't be doing the same things that I was doing in the past because I realize how bad that was for me. And you feel victorious about it. I mean, this is how you see yourself. This is clearly a win for you. You've conquered something. You could have met your love conquest. You know, you could have, you know, shoot and scored. It could have been a very, this is a very positive energy. I mean, you're obviously getting, you're getting the likes on Instagram. You're getting the likes on Facebook. You know, people are giving you the thumbs up and you feel great about it. So whatever this is, whatever it is you've overcome has, it's really been paying off for you, um, especially, I would say, in your love life. So congratulations, Cancer. In your environment, you have the Page of Swords. So this is an energy around you, which I'm getting an air sign. So Virgo, or not Virgo, sorry. I'm getting another page. So uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this is how they may, your partner may be viewing you or dealing with you or the person that you think about the most. So they're very curious about you and they're communicating with you and there's witty banter there and um, this is a very fresh energy. They may even be traveling with you because I often see Page of Swords as like air travel. Um, they may see you as quite like the jet setter or someone who um, is good with the written word. Um, again, I'm getting youthful energy here. So they see you as very communicative and uh, aware and quick. Um, you may be a little bit defensive sometimes, but overall, this is a this is brilliant. Um, I like this card a lot. Um, they see that you're you're getting the accolades that you feel that you deserve, and they're probably quite happy for you. In your hopes and fears, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this is just saying that. Your fear is that you would lose your emotional security and that you would be extremely unhappy and not have that family around you, not have that love around you. But remember, this is just a fear. It won't come true. And your outcome for the month of September is the Knight of Swords in reverse. Now, remember how I said that in your environment, you've got the Page of Swords this is how your partner may be viewing or dealing with you an outside influence. Well, I see them, I see the night sort of being a progression forward here. There's something that you may not feel you can move towards directly or take action on directly. There may be some holding back here. Also, uh, I'm getting someone who doesn't think before they speak. So if this is your energy, it could also be another air sign. This is someone who just kind of says things um, without really maybe thinking about the consequences of their actions or their thoughts. All right. But overall, um, I would say knights are rather dispassionate. They, they are semi-detached from their emotions and they're very goal-directed. They want to move very fast towards something. Here I find like you or someone else is holding back, holding back their tongue, biting their tongue, or perhaps not uh, holding back their words, perhaps not thinking about what they're saying before they speak. So I'd say if there's something that you are wanting to move towards, I would just say there's what is it that's holding you back? What is it that's preventing you from moving forward? Um, if change is something that you desire in a relationship, what is it that's preventing you from moving forward? Overall, you have a beautiful reading. And um, I think that 
uh, if anything, I'm seeing that work and uh, work is something that might be on your mind, but I think that your love life is going to be very good. Um, money may be something that's a little bit, work or money may be losing focus this month and giving you more of an opportunity to deal with uh, your lover on an even playing field. So I'd like to pull a guidance message for you for the month of September for all my Cancers, my Cancer Suns, my Cancer Moons, and my Cancer Risings. I'm using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle deck by Colette Baron Mead. This is just a fantastic deck and I enjoy using it very much. Uh, so I did get this card for Virgo. Was it Virgo? Yes. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo energy in your chart. And the message with this card is talks about inner conflict, morality, conscious desires, I'm sorry, conscious choices. And that is card 23, which uh, boils down to a 5. And you don't have any 5s in your reading, but that's okay. 5s are a card of conflict. There could be something that you're conflicted about. And let's see if I can find it here. The dragon's duel takes place at the proverbial fork in the road. It's both ally and challenger at once, as it represents the tension of opposites. Even though the truth is that we live in unity, we experience the duality of faith and doubt, love and fear, right and wrong, black and white. This aspect of your current experience asks you to accept that although you may be going one way, another may call to you to change direction. Now is the time to inquire whether it's your ego or your soul leading you. There are always choices in life. Decision making also solves inner conflict. If you're torn between two dragons, the one that you chose to feed will be the one that wins. Which is it? If it's not the one that serves the highest of your intentions, deliberately feed the other and the duel will be won in your favor. This is my reading for you today, Cancer, and you can apply this message to your love life or to any area of your life where you feel this resonates the most. I'll leave it up to you. But I do see it playing out in your reading, especially towards the end of September. Um, there is something that you are conflicted about in terms of deciding. And I see it really coming out here with the Knight of Swords in reverse. It's like you want to move forward towards something, but you're being held, you're either being held back or you're afraid. So you gotta cut, you gotta figure out what it is that you want and then make a decision. The best way to do that is to follow your heart. But, uh, you know, of course, some of us do have egos that get in the way, and the card is just saying that don't let your ego get in the way. Make a good choice. Make the right choice for you. There's no wrong choice. There's only the ones that feel right. So thank you so much for joining me, and it's been a pleasure reading for you. If you like this reading, give it a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I read all my comments, and I'll see you back for the mid-month readings in September. Take care.